I have a confession to make. I really feel like my coverage on Spider-Man 2 last time was a little too negative. So today, I'm actually gonna make a video about Spider-Man 2 that's mostly positive. Well, mo mostly positive. It'll get it'll it'll get better the higher we get up the tier list. That's right, baby. We're doing a whole Spider-Man 2 suit tier list video today. All 70 78? I think it's all 78 suits. I've blurred the list out so you can't see the results just yet. But as you can see, this list is pretty stacked towards the top, which means I liked a lot more suits than I disliked. We'll start from the bottom and go all the way to the tippity top. The Last Hunt Suit. In dead last, we have the Last Hunt Suit. This one is at the very back of the list because this thing barely even looks like a Spider-Man suit. Now I understand it's clearly a Spider-Man Kraven mashup suit, but this costume has the same problem I usually have with every superhero mashup costume, and it's that one of the superhero designs gets super lost within it. Spider-Man here just looks like Lion Man. This spider logo barely even has eight legs! Fucking both Peter and Miles get this same suit for some reason, so this suit actually takes up both of the spots in Dead Last. The Agimat suit. Alright, I'll admit I was a little too easy on this suit pre-launch. I'll tell you what the problem with this suit is. It's not the color palette, it's the fact that this suit is so complicated and the design is not at all easy to follow. I can barely fucking tell if the back emblem is supposed to have six legs or eight. Oh my god, does this suit have toes? Why the fuck is- what the fuck is that? Why is there one fucking piece of armor on the big toe? No. 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 I won't- I won't have it. I won't fucking have it, okay? The Spider-Man Souls thing was a joke. I don't want shit like this. Please, never again. Oh my fucking god, his big toe has a fucking circle on the bottom of it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Next suit. Next suit. This- the only reason this suit is above the last one is because you could at least, like, feasibly tell this is Spider-Man. The Absolute Carnage suit. Now this suit is a bit of a stinker to me, which is why it's at the bottom, of course. I don't like the formatting of the web pattern. It highlights Miles' midsection in a way that makes his body look kinda odd. I also think that the red is so dark that it doesn't pop against the black enough. To elaborate on the web pattern, why does it stop at the neckline? And why are the top legs on the back logo so small? And again with the toes! The Kumo suit. Okay, there are fragments of things here that I like. This is how you can tell that we're just about to break out of D tier. I really like the eyes within the spider lenses, which already have a pretty great shape. I like the idea of tattoos serving as the detailing for the red sections, especially with how the back logo forms. Why, why are there these ugly ass fucking seams all over the costume. Is this fabric? Why is the texture of it so weird? I honestly kind of wish this was skin instead, even if it was red skin. The spider logo on the chest is barely trackable. It just feels like there's a head and a body on his chest, and it's never really clear where the rest of the spider is. And after all that, he's just wearing this really dull outfit. The suit has such boring colors combined with all this weird execution. The tactical suit. So I'll tell you what's not wrong with this suit. I think the color palette is just fine. I really like the bright pinkish red with the otherwise monotone color scheme. It's just this suit's undying need to be so overly complicated that kills it. If these weird goggle visor things on Peter's forehead actually looked like they could be used, and maybe if the armor paneling didn't look so aimless and unnecessary. Like, I get that this is a tactical suit, but what kind of tactical is this? It sticks out like a sore thumb, and it looks like Peter's wearing an NES power glove. Like, this suit has some small stuff going for it. That's why it's at the top of D tier, but I could see someone liking it. The way the spider runs through the suit is cool, and I like the red marks leading into the lenses. It's kind of like a, a, a worse armored advanced suit. Alright, so that covers all of D tier. I promise it's the least filled tier in this whole list. Meaning there are but a few of the in-game suits that I would deem irredeemable. C tier is about twice its size. So after this, we'll probably start to be a little more positive. 
The stone monkey suit. I swear, I feel like I'm looking at something that should be in D tier. And maybe it should be. But I have to say, this suit has a nice color palette. The leathery red, the slightly washed out blue, and the gold elements mixed together with the lightly colored fur aren't painful to look at. I like the spider fabric texture used on some of the fabric here, but this design is like, super wacky. What the fuck am I looking at? It's a weird design, and I don't see myself liking it or ever wearing it, but if you enjoy it, go ahead and do so. Everybody's got their guilty pleasures. I'm just glad I'm not a weirdo who likes the stone monkey suit. The smoke and mirror suit. I feel like this suit is one of those cases where as long as the lenses and the spider emblem look cool, any design can manage to look alright. Except this mask barely even has lenses. The fog within the fishbowl clears right in front of Spider-Man's eyes to make the spidey lens shape, and that's pretty fucking cool. Along with that, the logos are really nice. I just think this design is just a little too covered in random seams and the usual sort of over-design that happens with a lot of Insomniac Spidey suits. I kinda wish this suit implemented the Mysterio quilt pattern from the original Mysterio costume into this design. It could've worked as both a web pattern and a homage to Quentin Beck's old costume. It's an okay suit, it's fine to enjoy it. The Apocalyptic Suit. Now this mask looks straight up stupid. Like otherwise, the design of this suit is actually alright. Once again, I understand how this suit could have some fans, but this mask really, really ruins this suit for me. If the web pattern didn't look so weird, and if the lenses fit the suit, I'd enjoy this costume. And personally, I could, I could do without the mohawk, but it's fine. To elaborate on the lenses though, I just really wish they fit his face more. Like, this suit is seemingly from a punk apocalypse, whatever the fuck that is, but these lenses are small, dinky, and softly shaped? Give him some jagged, menacing looking ones. You'll see me repeat this same complaint later. Insomniac doesn't know what punk looks like. The biomechanical suit. Now this suit has three really cool things going for it. I like the pedipalps on the mask, making him look like a real spider. I like the logos, but I definitely think the one on the back should glow just like the one on the front, because without it, it gets really lost in these other plated sections. And honestly, I like the idea for this suit too. It's like they wanted to make a spider exoskeleton suit. And I mean, it's cool and all, but if you're gonna wear a Miles suit, do you really wanna wear the ball sack texture looking one? The Wakanda Forever suit. So even I'll admit that the Wakanda Forever suit does the thing that I'm always saying most mashup costumes don't do. It looks like a perfect mix between Black Panther and Miles Morales' Spider-Man costume. I think the reason this costume mixes these two together so well is because both of these costumes are primarily black with some added accents. But this suit looks like ass! I really don't like the web pattern that forms around Miles' upper chest especially since the webs are going the wrong way. The eyes are really squinty, and yet they take up a huge chunk of Miles' face. Not only that, the lenses are a whole football field apart from each other. Honestly, now that I look at it a little more, maybe Black Panther's design does kind of get washed out in this suit. The red shoulders really just make him look like Miles Morales from a distance. And in that case, again I must ask, if you're gonna wear a Miles suit, do you really want to wear this shitty bootleg looking one? The 25th century suit. Now this suit isn't horrible. It's just completely beaten out by another similar design you'll see way farther up the list. The pinkish red and the light blue accents do work well together. I just think that the spider logo isn't really recognizable on the front and you can really only see the spider clearly on the back, which is already really tiny. I, I don't know, it's just Spider-Man in a big funky spacesuit. I don't know what to say. They tried to mix in some seams on the web sections here too, which looks kind of dumb. I don't know. I have kinder words for the better version of this suit. The inside out suit. Oh. Fucking. Boy the lowest ranked theatrical Spider-Man costume on this list, and man, how excited I am to finally get to tell you all how much I fucking hate this thing. First of all, design-wise, this thing is basically just a completely blacked out Spider-Man costume with only two-thirds of the web pattern still remaining in gold. Now normally, 
That wouldn't be bad. It even has some motherboard-esque detailing on the fabric, which is subtle and honestly looks kinda cool. Now let's fucking dump it in miscellaneous wires! Why the fuck did we have to cover this thing in wires? It could've at least looked okay. You expect me to believe that this is the inside-out version of the MCU Spider-Man suit mask when the lenses still look exactly the same on the inside as they do on the outside? We've seen what the insides of these lenses look like. It makes no sense that they just look exactly as they do right side out. And what about the web shooters? Aren't they on the outside of the suit? How the fuck is he even supposed to wear this thing all the time with all the fucking wires inside of it? Now aside from this being a pretty shitty design, what makes it even worse is that instead of looking at this inside out garbage, we could have been looking at the far from home suit. But no, some dickhead decided to throw green paint on Spider-Man's costume during No Way Home, and now he's gotta wear it inside out or some bullshit, whatever sells more toys. <laughs> Fuck this Spider-Man suit. I can't fucking believe, I can't fucking believe that this thing could've even made it past the drawing board to get into the movie it's from. It's a stupid looking clusterfuck, and even after all that, it's a poorly executed idea that manages to contradict itself when you actually question its design traits. Fuck this suit! The MCU Iron Spider. Damn, we're really just getting all these shitty MCU costumes out of the way immediately, huh? Anyway, this is one of the most rightfully hated Spider-Man designs of all time, and I'll tell you why. It's a redesign of a pre-existing and much better looking costume. But, I will give credit where it's due. The design on paper doesn't sound too bad. A metal Spider-Man suit with a red, blue, and gold color scheme honestly sounds kinda cool. Until you cover it in these nasty lines, dull the colors to shit, and overcomplicate the fucking dog piss out of it. Pretty much the only thing I can forgive about this costume is the logo work, which could be worse. But everything else about this godforsaken outfit is super nasty. If it had brighter colors, I'd probably bump this thing up a couple spots, but honestly this thing is pretty unsalvageable. The Evolved Suit. You know why this is here. The only reason it's above the Iron Spider is because it has brighter colors that pop out more than that shitty shiny red and pissy gold. But that doesn't change the fact that this costume has a huge focus on the chest and arms, leaving the rest of the suit to be pretty much lacking in terms of style. The mask is a boring one color with nearly the same lenses as the default Miles mask. It has his hair coming out of the top, which doesn't add to the design at all, and honestly feels like a half-assed attempt to make this suit different. Honestly, this suit could have been boosted up a few spots if the hair wasn't out. The least they could have done was flick the hood up so that it could poke out the front a bit like the Red Spectre suit does, but not only that, it would have made the face of this suit look a lot more interesting. Miles' mask looks blank and naked, but with the hood up, you could have had a nice, cool blue background behind it that would have looked way more eye-catching. The legs are a complete joke. It's like they didn't even try to find a reason for why the blue lines just randomly start back up on the thighs and down to the Adidas. You know, people are actually starting to suspect that this suit was an ad for Adidas on Twitter. It's that fucking bad. How did you design a suit so fucking bad that people are speculating that you are making adidas ads with your in-game suits i don't understand how did you fumble this bad i don't know who designed this suit be it adidas or insomniac but whoever did clearly needs to go back to the drawing board and try again or never again whichever results in a bad spidey suit not being made the integrated suit one of the biggest downgrades of all time right in front of us you take something as wonderful as the far from home suit and you cover it in all this stupid fucking garbage. Cover the boots and knees with this stupid ass fucking shit. Cover the gloves with this stupid ass fucking shit. And cover the whole goddamn body in this stupid ass shit. It's like if you finish painting the Mona Lisa and suddenly someone came up and took a big golden shit right on her chest. And now your painting is stuck like this forever. And of course, you gotta have these ugly ass lines all over the thighs, right? And why not keep the eyes white too? That certainly wouldn't blend into the design better if they were gold, right? They honestly could have kept the golden web shooters from the MCU Iron Spider suit. It certainly would have helped balance out the gold on this garbage. The only reason this thing is as high as it is, is because the colors are really vibrant. Except for the gold, which looks like shit. The Red Spectre suit. 
And now, the design that fell pretty far from grace with me upon finally getting to play with it myself. But this costume is still no slouch, there's a reason why it's just at the top of C tier. Because at a passing glance, this suit actually looks really cool. The hooded mask with Miles' hair peeking out from the front is cool, especially with the red dyed tips. And yet again, black, white, and red prove itself to look really good on the younger Spider-Man. But this costume has these Ronald McDonald looking ass shoes. And there's a lot of over-designing going on. It's certainly not the worst Miles has ever looked, and you can definitely catch me wearing this suit every now and again. It's got sauce, okay? But not too much. And with that, we have wrapped up C tier. Oh man, this video is gonna be super long. I wonder if I'm even gonna be able to get this video out to you guys in a timely manner. I'll have to be editing for fucking hours. Anyway, now that C tier is all covered, we can finally get to the suits that are smack dab in the middle of quality lane. Not bad, but certainly not the greatest. Life Story Suit, Miles Edition. Okay, maybe this one should swap places with the Red Spectre. This one's just kinda... meh? At least the Red Spectre tries to be something, you know? This suit has a four-legged spider on the front, and... It's pretty bland otherwise. Or maybe it should stay here. Uh. Because while the Red Spectre does try to be unique, it definitely falls short in some places by simply doing too much. This suit just does too little, and lacks four extra spider legs too. I like the red web crest on the back. I don't know. Which suit do you think is better? I genuinely want to know what you think down below. The Life Story suit, or the Red Spectre? I have a feeling that the Red Spectre will win more favor, and honestly, I might agree. So. Just imagine that the Red Spectre was always at the bottom of B tier, and the Life Story suit is at the top of C. And while you're at it, you can pretend that I'm a competent YouTuber. Hey, Fred, give me a deal with extra Extra And hold the Hold the And hold the Hold the Hey, Jimmy, give me a with not Not Now you can have the MCU stealth suit. What do you want me to say? It's a completely black tactical Spider-Man suit. I definitely think anybody who outright hates this thing is being a little absurd. I mean, it's just a completely black suit. If anything, you should be bored by it. But I don't know, I, per I personally don't mind it. The Brooklyn 2099 suit. Alright, this is one of those suits that only looks good in the nighttime. otherwise it just looks really reflective and all the pink starts to get washed out. This design has some really interesting spider logo work, especially the one on the back, but I don't know, it just feels like you can lose a lot of the flair with this suit in the daytime. He looks like he's being pumped with Coca-Cola when the light's on. Why the fuck would I want to wear a suit that only looks good if the sun's fucking gone? What if it's 2 p.m.? The Programmable Matter Suit. The only reason that this suit is above the last one is because the red pops at any time of the day. If you ask me, the last suit has a better design but with worse coloring and material choices. This suit is only above it because the colors look so much better, and I guess that should really tell you about what I value in a Spider-Man suit. Good colors are everything. The Strike Suit. You know, I've talked about these suits in older, shittier videos, specifically my video where I said that Miles had better new designs from Insomniac than Peter did in his first game, and this is one suit that I think holds up pretty decently. The color palette does carry it a bit. The glowing yellow was a really, really nice choice. Like, I can't believe there aren't more Miles suits that try to implement his electric powers into their designs. The glowing gauntlets, the venom coursing through the suit, the bright yellow soles. This looks awesome when you're ignoring the weird looking helmet. Man, these lenses are tiny. The advanced tech suit. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Huh? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, yeah, 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 the suit has some weird lenses. Miles Morales missing his iconic red lenses is kind of a bummer. But that doesn't make it look like complete shit. It may be wrong, but I'm tired of acting like this suit doesn't have really cool logos. Even if they don't match, it's an okay suit. Maybe even cool. 
The Crimson Cowl Suit. Oh, this suit kind of just looks like Michael Jackson, Miles Morales. Even if I had problems with the overly geometric design of the spider logo and other stuff on the suit, I can't complain about having the classic Miles mask still being pretty present in the design. What do you want from me? I like the color red. What can I say? All of the best things in life are red. Like Spider-Man. Or Spider-Man. Or Spider-Man. And Spider-Ham! The Saving Live Suit. Stupid name aside, this suit is pretty decent. Honestly, I kind of wish they called it the Spider Wraith. It's got some really nice logo work and lenses too. It's a suit where Spider-Man is put in a completely different color palette with a completely different suit format, and it looks like some sort of leather motorcycle suit. It looks pretty awesome, give or take a bit of over-design. The Purple Rain Suit. What can I say about the Purple Rain Suit that I haven't already said in my previous video discussing it? Nothing. It's a good suit. It works surprisingly well as a Spider-Man suit with a Prowler-themed color palette. Although, the suit is a bit overly complicated, but even so, the darkness of the costume is able to blend it out pretty well. Not bad. It's pretty cool. The... Hold on. The... The board... I don't, e I don't even want to... Here, let me look this up. How do I say this? Hold on, chat. I'm fucking... There's an ad playing on this pronunciation video. Shut the fuck up! They're fucking selling me tires! Oh my god, please just tell me how to pronounce this word. Boriqua. Boriqua. Oh my fucking god. The Boriqua suit. So, basically, imagine the Miles design and work the Puerto Rican flag into it. Except, scratch the part where I tell you to imagine it and look at your screen. I like the stars on the boots, that's a nice touch, but these gloves really feel like an afterthought. I much rather would have seen the flag somehow worked into the glove, or honestly just go lazy with it and give Miles his old gloves back. It's a pretty decent look for Miles, but I'm not jumping up and down about it or anything. It's got a satisfying web pattern, and it reminds me of the Tasm 2 suit in some ways. The best there is suit. You're asking a Spider-Man fan about his opinion on a Wolverine suit? I don't know, it's like asking an atheist how big he thinks God's cock is. What do you expect him to say? I don't know, it's a, it's a cool suit, I guess. It definitely doesn't look like Spider-Man, though. Should that be a reason to place it, like, around where it is on the list? I don't know. Anyway, my answer is 50 stories long. The new blue suit. You know, this suit's kind of weird, but it's too bland or basic to say that it's bad. The spider logos sure are, though. What the hell is this even supposed to be? How the fuck am I supposed to consider this a spider logo? There's six fucking legs on this thing. I hate when they fucking do that. Spiders have fucking eight legs, not six or four or two. Eight! Eight! Get it right! Oh my god, it shouldn't be that fucking hard. The one on the back is just a chunkier version of the one on the front, but it looks so fucking weird and geometrical. The formatting being pretty safe saves this suit a whole bunch, plus it has a pretty interesting glove design. It's a basic suit, but sometimes basic isn't really a bad thing. The sportswear suit. This one took me a long time to figure out where I wanted to put it, because it's not really a traditional suit, you know? It's a Spider-Man suit with a jacket and shorts over it. At least they're red and blue respectively. It definitely helps Miles look more like a Spider-Man in this costume since a lot of the suit is covered. Thing is though, I kinda wish the puffer was black instead of blue. It'd be like a call forward to Miles' iconic red and black Spidey color palette. It's a casual look, but it's also a pretty solid choice. Miles' homemade suit. This is honestly a pretty solid homemade suit, I can't lie to you. It's got a nice design on the jacket that lightly homages to the Spider logo. I really enjoy the subtle approach to the Spider logo design, and I'm not exactly sure which comic artist designed this new first suit for Miles, but whoever did clearly had the sauce. The big blocky goggles are nice, and I honestly love when Miles lets his web shooters sit on the cuff of his hoodie sleeves. This is a nice suit. You gotta respect the Tims. The Scarlet Spider 3 suit. Okay, this one was one I didn't really understand the hate for when it first came out. It's definitely not better than the original, I'll admit that, but it ain't horrible. The mouth is horrible, yes, but we all make bad choices sometimes, and Insomniac made sure not to repeat that again. I definitely don't like the lenses on this suit though, but the hood being up definitely helps cover them up. The logos are pretty decent, and the utility belt isn't too intrusive on the design. It's a solid outfit, I, I don't think it's worth hating on. The Anti-Ox Suit. This design is basically a, a pissed on, less impressive black suit. I mean, it's Spider-Man 
I can certainly tell it's Spider-Man. But I will say it's got a nice set of logos and some really Raimi-esque eyes. I have no clue why this weird cube thing is on his abs. I think Spider Cube might be making a comeback Insomniac. You might want to get on that. The family business suit. Now, the only reason this suit is above the anti-ox suit is pretty much because it's just a better design, albeit with less saturated colors. The gold elements are better distributed throughout the costume and there are lights that fly through the suit. All I want from this suit is for the gold to pop more. That's pretty much all I gotta say. It's a nice suit. The Dark Ages suit. Ah yes, the venomous look for Miles I asked for in my suit wishlist video. I'm pretty sure I asked for that thing in this video. Anyway, this one looks nice, although I wish there was a classic black and white variant like the one in the comics. I still enjoy the subtle red lining on the lenses, the spiked hoodie, and the really nice spider logos. The fuck is up with these shoes man though, holy shit. The Raimi suit. Oh boy. We're at the tail end of B tier, and here this suit sits before me. It's certainly a version of the Raimi Spider-Man. I think the colors of it look a bit off. The blue is really, really bright, and the bread f and the bread. The red feels too toned down to work with the blue, and the webbing on the suit is ungodly thick, so much so that it washes out the red in some shots. But it's not horrible. At the end of the day, it's still a classic Spidey suit, which definitely boosts it up a whole bunch, but I do wish some things about this adaptation of the Raimi suit were way different. I take back my rant in my really old Raimi video about people complaining about this thing, alright? I get it. It looks way more crappier than all of Insomniac's other movie suits. The black Raimi suit. Alright, now this choice may throw some of you for a loop. I complain about this black suit all the time, I know. But at least this game actually makes it look decent compared to the red and blue version of it. Like, the previous suit looked unfinished, but this one looks how it's supposed to. If the classic Raimi suit looked good, it would definitely be above this one. But that one's got some funkiness going on, and I have no clue if it'll ever be fixed. But for those new to the channel, what's my problem with this suit? It looks really cool. Yes, it does. But when this is what the black suit is supposed to look like in the comics, and then you show me a design of a black suit that looks like a lazy Spider-Man black recolor from a fighting game? I'm gonna complain. I wanted a classic black suit Spidey, and instead I got a classic Spidey suit dumped in black paint. We are finally at the end of B tier. Holy shit. This pretty much wraps up all the suits I think are okay to pretty solid. And now, we move on to A tier, which is the most populated tier on this list. These suits are all amazing in their own right, and just barely make it into S tier due to a couple issues with their designs. And we kick off A tier with... The Arantia suit. Okay, now I know I'm gonna get shit for this, but let it be known that I am aware of the problems with this suit. I know it's got a little too much weird red lines all over it, it's kind of over designed in some areas, but... Doesn't this sound a little familiar? Ah yes, the integrated suit. Let me say right now, you cannot like the integrated suit and hate this thing. They pretty much do the same exact things, except one of these actually wants to be its own thing, as opposed to slapping itself over a pre-existing design like the integrated suit does. It's got some cool looking lenses, some really nice spider logos, and a much more interesting color palette. Hate it if you want, I sure don't blame you, but this costume definitely has some sauce on it. The Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. suit. This suit is a pretty awesome reference. It's a throwback to issue 9 of the second Miles Morales Spider-Man run if I remember correctly, where Miles dons a S.H.I.E.L.D. outfit for the cover. It's not a very spidery look, sure, but it's a cool outfit all by itself. I really like the white paired with this light blue, it looks really good. Although, I could do without the over-designing though, it seriously litters this thing. You expect me to believe that this is a uniform? You know uniforms are made hundreds of times, right? These poor shield uniform makers have to put in all these extra seams and panels into their jumpsuits just cause some jackass thought it looked cooler. Well, that's why you aren't S tier, little buddy. Keep your fucking ass back- The Anti-Venom Suit. Oh boy, we got another hot one on our hands. I know half of you are praising me for putting this one high, and the other half want me to pull my head out of my ass. Well, let me just complain about it for a bit to make the angry half feel a bit better. I'll tell you what, it's definitely not better than Spidey's other white and black looks. 
The Future Foundation pulls off this look so much better because it had more of a purpose and a clear vision when laying out the black sections, while also making sure the black sections balanced out the suit's white to black ratio. But this suit just slaps some fuck ass paneling on the waist and calls it a day. Like I'm not trying to sound like an asshole here, but what the fuck even are these? At least the black on the arms is tied into the spider logo, and honestly from the chest up this suit looks really cool. But it's like the lower you go, the less sure of what they were doing. But it's got really nice lenses, really nice logo work, so hey, it can't be that bad. The King in Black Miles suit. You'll start to notice a pattern here. Good lenses and a good spider logo can make any suit look awesome. Even if it's got a stupid ass spiral on its forehead, or these dumb spiky shoulder pads. Some really nice touches here are the faded webbing, and really just the bright ass red they used as opposed to the crimson red they kept using for Miles' other symbiote outfits. Not to mention the flowing symbiote texture over the black parts of the suit, absolutely gorgeous. The Tokusatsu suit, Power Ranger man here has a real nice set of lenses and logos. Can you tell that this script is already 5,509 words long? Me neither. I'm losing my fucking mind. Anyway, I have very little issues with this suit. It's got some nice simplistic web shooters and while it's a teeny bit over designed, I'll give it a pass since that might be a homage to the source material this suit is referencing. The encoded suit. So I've made it pretty much no secret that this is my favorite Miles design from the Deluxe Edition skin pack. It was designed by the GOAT, Chris Anka, the man responsible for so many of the beautiful designs from across the Spider-Verse. Who am I to tell this man that he made a bad design? It may look over designed, but I would argue that this costume needs those features to make this suit look more robotic. It's like a Mecha Miles suit thing. It makes it work. The only place I'd say it maybe doesn't look great is the helmet, I think the exposed bolts and circuitry distract from the lenses, and honestly, I do really like the red and orange color combo. I saw a couple people saying it should be one or the other, but come on, at least this costume is consistent with it. Orange stays near the top of the design, and only slightly comes down to the bottom, but the limb ends are always consistently red. Are we gonna act like these two warm colors can't go together? They sit right next to each other on the rainbow for God's sake. Chris Anka, please follow me back on Twitter. The Arachnite suit. I'll tell you what, its cape boosts this thing up really high. It's got nice logos too, and you can barely even tell they reused the Advanced Suit 2.0 lenses here. But this arm paneling is really ugly, and the shade of red is so dark that it almost looks brown, and I don't know whether that's a positive or a negative. Because on one hand, the dark red definitely helps emphasize the spider logo, and helps the white pop more. Eh, maybe it is a positive. Sorry, sorry, my hatred for unsaturated superhero costumes is muddying my opinions again. Okay, my bad. The Advanced Suit 1.0 I am one of the most inconsistent YouTubers on the planet. Last time, I had a pretty mixed opinion on this outfit, but confession, I've grown to really like it. All the design issues I've talked about in my previous videos are still valid, all except one. It being orange. <laughs> It can be fucking orange, okay? I changed my mind! But in Spider-Man 2, Insomniac fucking dulled the shit out of the orange and made it shitty booty brown. I felt like I was smoking crack using this suit again, because there was no way it looked like this last time. There was no way it was this dark, at least not in the remastered version. Maybe that was it. I did replay the remaster a bunch while wearing the advanced suit right before Spider-Man 2's release. But anyway, this suit being the slightest bit darker puts it back on the tier list a few paces for me. I wish it was vibrantly orange at least, because I think the bright colors worked with the new white logo really well. If it was like this, it would definitely outrank its replacement. The Miles Morales 2099 suit. I really love this color blocky ass spider. My only issue with this suit is the under implementation of the web pattern. 
Even the over-designing is hard to see with the dark blue as the base color of the suit. The colors on the front and back are nice, the misty eyes are really cool, and I can't hate this thing even if the arm spikes are a little dumb. It's a great suit. The Secret War Civil War suit. This fucking name is stupid. Now I can't complain about a good spin on the classic suit. This Spidey suit has got some super tactical green army pants on. Personally, I think the green works really well with the red and blue, especially since the Spidey suit is a bit lacking in detail this time. These are some really nice color choices too. Nice and bright and nothing too dull. Not to mention the custom wing set for this suit. I completely forgot to mention this one in my last video when I was complaining about the web wings. My bad, I'm sorry. Not to mention these really cool goggles. Insomniac pretty much had to improvise a whole new mask for this suit, and I'm so happy they didn't just give Peter the classic one. The Great Responsibility Suit I really can't help but find all of Miles' first Spider-Man suits really charming. Like I know they're supposed to look really lacking, and some might think that that makes them so, but they aren't. This suit is everything. It does everything it needs to do to tell you what it's supposed to be. The gloves are a little baggy, and so is the neck of the mask. The suit looks just high quality enough that you could think this is supposed to be some sort of Spidey trainee suit. The logos are really simple and nice, and the lenses are really big and appealing. I can't help but feel like a lot of the Spider-Man iconography is simplified to tone up this trainee Spidey vibe, and I gotta say, that's pretty genius. The 2099 Black Suit. I, I did the finger quotes. This is a really good Spider-Man 2099 design here. A real nice blue being used, which I actually prefer over the black variant. The iconography is real nice and sharp, perfect for that menacing 2099 look. But this design is missing a huge part of the original 2099 suit. The web cape. Now normally I'd feel bad for judging a suit for what it doesn't have, but this is a pretty huge feature of the original outfit. Like, imagine if the Arachnite suit had no cape. I mean, maybe that's a little different, but the back of this suit is just so boring to look at with nothing on it. There's just nothing here, and it's so boring to look at in normal gameplay, cause half the time, I'm looking at this man's blue ass, there's nothing else here. Some of these suits ahead of this one on this tier list actually make it above 2099, simply because they have an interesting design on the back. Here, there's nothing. Put a cape on this suit, and it's S tier. The upgraded suit. Now, I don't think this Miles suit is as good as this old one, but it's certainly a cool one. There are a couple features here that I like about it over the original. I really like the black they used, and I like the shape of the chest arc just a little bit more. But I certainly don't like the inconsistent lining on the gray parts of the outfit, and I honestly wish the gray parts were as dark as the black on the mask. It would really make these stupid paneling and random armor pieces less noticeable. I really do like the glove design though, but I still prefer the original red finger design. The Life Story Suit I love the idea of the Spider-Man pattern being rearranged to make a whole new design on a costume. This suit explores the idea while also working it in with a spacesuit theme, which I doubly enjoy, even if the belt is really weird. There's a really nice spider logo, and the lenses look really awesome. The End Suit Now this is a great Miles suit. I just think that the lenses are really blocky and ugly, and I think something's fucked up with the reflections on the model because it looks too bright and ugly. But everything else looks awesome. Great hoodie, I love the spray paint, I love the base suit under it too, the digital camo pants are really fun, and I dig the boots. Fix the lenses and it'll move up. The spider punk suit. This is a good suit. There are things to like about it. But I do not. But if you don't like it, why is it so far up the tier list, you may say? I don't know, I'm about 7,000 words into this script and I feel like a cracked out animal right now trying to finish this shit. Anyway, it's this high up because while I may not like it myself, it still has bright colors, a nice web pattern, and a generally pretty clean spider punk design. Therein lies the problem. You expect me to believe that one of the biggest menaces of the Spider-Verse would wear these normal ass Spider-Man lenses? You could have given me something more fitting for this version of the character. Maybe some Bagley lenses like he has pinned on his jacket or some McFarlane's. Spider-Punk is a punk. He should have some menacing ass Spider-Man eyes. This version of this suit just makes him look super tame. I'm not into it. The City Sound Suit. I don't even know what to tell you right now. Just look at this man's fit. Look at the shoes. The dress shirt. The vest with the spider logos on the front. And back! Ugh! So good. The end of the Spider-Verse suit. 
Some might have said it was a stretch to call Spider-Man 2 the best Spider-Man game of all time. To that I say, what other Spider-Man game can you play as Nicolas Cage Spider-Man in? It's kind of funny that Insomniac booted their own noir design in favor of using the most popular version of noir from recent years. It's a pretty good thing they did though. Their old noir design is pretty... Alright. The big trench coat is awesome, and I really like the hat. Seriously looks like he jumped right out of Spider-Verse, and he fits perfectly with the rest of the Spider-Verse skins in-game. R.I.P. Peter B. Parker, though. I'll miss you forever. The Shadow Spider Suit. Now this is a real certified banger. A real motherfucking pussy fucker. Wait, what? Did I just get fucking censored in my own video? Are you kidding me? I can't fucking say pussy fucker. Moving on, Shadow Spider has to be one of the top comic suit adaptations Insomniac has done. There's no immediately apparent spider on this suit, but the giant web cape makes up for this in my opinion. The half mask thing Miles has going on here is also really cool too. It's a great suit with a lot of details that I really enjoy. The Advanced Suit 2.0 I have been shitting on this thing for a while now, and in all honesty, I definitely have been way too hard on it. It's got super bright colors, which is a huge plus, and the spider logos look great as always. Where are his fucking boots, though? Well, okay, it doesn't have to be a pair of boots, but can there at least be some red on the legs? Like, I swear, Insomniac only listens to fans sometimes, because it explained why they went for such a bright red and blue this time. But then why would they make one of the most complained about features of this suit even worse by removing the red on the legs? It's a good suit. I'm just tough on all the important ones. Also, why did they pattern it so it looks like he peed his pants? The Across the Spider-Verse suit. <sighs> this is another case of me being really hard on an important suit. This suit is not a perfect one, and the one that came before it is definitely better, but the red lines aren't bad. They're just really, really basic. Like, they look cool here, especially during swinging, but I cannot understate the simplicity of this design. It's cool, but just in a low-key sort of way just too low-key for Miles Morales. And thank god the light armor plating is almost as dark as the suit itself, because if they were any more visible, this suit would probably be in B tier. This suit is carried by its awesome logos, its unapologetic red, and the spray paint aesthetic. But I fucking hate how the red stripe doesn't go all the way down to the fucking feet! The Insomniac Black Suit. This suit is definitely something. It has amazing logo work, big buggy eyes, and redesigned gloves. I cannot lie to you, this has to be one of the coolest black suit designs that have ever been done. I understand that the dookie texture may be unappealing to some people, and I won't blame you if it holds you back from liking it. It does kind of look odd at times, and I'm a little iffy about how the armor plating makes his body look, but it definitely still looks awesome. This suit is certified good shit. The symbiote suit. <sighs> this one is just the last suit, but without the poo poo pattern, a bigger logo, and with top legs that hang over the shoulders and pointier eyes. I had to put it just above the last suit because I really enjoy the presentation of this black suit a lot more. I dig the veins more than the poopy plated armor. I do miss the white patch on the hand though, the suit looks really empty without it. The eyes here have a lot more character, which the last suit didn't lack, but here it's a lot more appealing to me. I also really enjoy how the logo wraps around the body too. Amazing shit. The 2020 suit. What can I say about this suit that would accurately describe its greatness? I know, the light board on the chest is kind of dumb, but everything else about this suit makes sense and looks awesome while doing it. The back logo on the jacket is just mwah, chef's kiss. The Scarlet Spider suit. I really, really, really want to put this design in S tier, but I can't do it because of these ugly bright red panels on the base suit. It's a really, really good Scarlet Spider. I love the new web shooter design, I love the hoodie, I love the utility belt, but this suit is really unfaithful. Poor ass, clone ass, no job ass, Ben Riley did not make this. Peter with a steady job made this suit. Look at how clean it looks! I'm not saying it's a bad thing, I'm just simply pointing it out. The homemade MCU suit. Now get ready to burn me at the stake. If the Scarlet Spider was a bit better, it would beat this suit out. But I really like this MCU suit. It's one of the greatest, but I still do wish it looked a little better in this game. I wish the proportions of it were more like the hot toy. And I think something about this in-game suit looks off. But I love the added sock boots, Peter's new web shooter gloves, and I really love these new goggles. 
This is some of the MCU's best work right here. The classic suit. The best superhero costume of all time, in my opinion, is the classic Spider-Man suit. And here before us all is Insomniac's rendition of it. My issue with this suit is that I do not think it is done right in this game. There is one thing holding this suit back from being S tier, and it's something holding a lot of suits back from being S tier. It's the fucking fact that these fucking costumes all look like shitty booty brown when ported into this fucking game. I would have put this in S tier. You see this video? Fuck this video. When the colors on this suit are hot, the suit is hot. I'm sorry for saying it wasn't. I was wrong. The Stark suit. Put my ass on the stake again. This suit has really nice colors. I really don't give a fuck about the black bands. The blue lines look less noticeable. I really like the logos and the lenses. If you're mad at me for it, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you! I'm sorry. We're at like 8,000 words in the script. And I'm really starting to lose my fucking mind here. Stan's costume shop suit. What the fuck is this suit called in game? Anyway, I can't stress to you enough how much I love this thing. I would have put it in S tier if it weren't such a gimmicky outfit. I really, really want to, but I have to uphold the law around here, and I know that this costume is just a silly ass costume shop suit at the end of the day. But it just looks so. Ugh! It's like a really funky look for Miles. A skinny boy in a cape running around in a Party City Spidey suit? But he's actually Spider-Man? Like, come on, this suit is so cool. I was never upset to see Miles wearing this thing throughout the Spider-Verse films. I'd put it in S if it had the open eye holes. The track suit. Oh, this is another suit I would put in S tier again if I could. It's just so close to being perfection. But I can't put it all the way up there in a good conscience. It's a really good Miles design. No doubt Miles already has a great color scheme, but adding white was such a genius move. But I really do wish that Insomniac didn't have to overcomplicate this design with the paneling on the white and weird spots, and I really don't like this plastic texture on the mask. The classic suit, Miles Morales. There's really only two problems with this suit that keep it out of S tier. I think the suit is way too gray, and I don't like how visible it makes the armor plating, but this suit is still phenomenal and it's one of the greats. I really love the logo work. The lenses are great and resemble Miles' art from his original run. I think the water shoes were a really nice addition, and I really dig the candy red they used. Awesome costume, and I would let this one pass in the S tier if no one was looking. We have finally made it to the Golden Gates. These are the kings of the list. I will probably have the least to say about these, but these are the suits I consider to be the cream of the crop the best of them all. They usually only have the smallest of flaws, but the suit at the very top of this list is one I consider to be absolutely perfect. The Superior Spider-Man Suit This suit has a really nice blood red and a black dark enough to make the over-designing way less noticeable. Great logos, great lenses, great webbing, and it looks great in-game. The Bodega Cat Suit. The Cat Man! This has got to be one of the coolest right here. It does have some over-designing, I'll give you that. But Spider-Man in the bag? Come on, just shut up and just look at him for a second. You'll forget all about that over-designing. I really love the copper webbing, and I seriously like the shade of red on the suit paired with the hoodie. It's got great lenses, and the logo smacks yo granny. The Far From Home Suit. This suit has got to be one of the coolest redesigns of classic Spidey there is. The black lining looks really great when some light hits it, the bright candy ass red looks awesome, and the white accents pop in just the right ways. I could do without the black belt pieces though. The Iron Spider Armor Suit. I've talked about this suit before. It's great. The ruby red looks awesome with the gold. Suck your nan. The classic black suit. This suit is like if you took the Web of Shadows suit, made it black, and gave it bigger eyes, so basically fixed it. But the purple still looks awesome though, that's not the problem. I also gotta love the, the fucking 90s Venom variant they added in game. I, I know we're supposed to be talking about only the default editions of these suits, but man, this is just like a really good classic black suit here. 
the 10th anniversary suit. Miles Morales' new look is practically lifted right off the page for you to use. No room for Insomniac to add any weird shit to it, and honestly that's made it way better. The pink is awesome, but if you're worried about the use of the pink version demeaning your manhood, you can pick a red version that looks just as good, you fucking sissy. The new MCU red and blue suit. We are in the top four. I honestly couldn't have put this guy any lower. It's pretty much just classic Spidey, minus the back logo, which still looks great. Some people might think the blue looks ugly, but I don't. The web pattern looks great, the logos are awesome, and this suit deserves its spot and maybe more. The TASM2 suit. <sighs> this suit deserves an apology video from me, a big one. While the spider logo does hang low on the chest, I can't say no to the big buggy eyes, immaculate web pattern, and the light seam work on the blue. Past PSM is stupid. The colors on this suit look great, and this suit looks great. The TASM1 suit. You know why I love this thing. It's such a unique take on the classic suit, that somehow sits in this purgatory of being so unique that it can be considered its own thing, but it's also still a classic suit. The sportswear influence is not lost on this suit, but it also doesn't overdo it either. The yellow eyes are really cool, and the soccer cleat soles are so, so nice. Such an awesome suit, and there will be nothing like it ever again. Ladies and gentlemen, the final suit. The one I consider to be the perfect Spider-Man suit. And that is the Into the Spider-Verse suit. The spray-painted elements that drape over Miles' shoulders like spider fangs, highlighting his musculature. The fingers and boots being left untouched by the black spray paint to balance out the red from the top of the suit all the way down to the bottom. The spider logos are so fresh, being some of the most unique spiders that we have ever seen on a suit before. The red elements are fuzzy at times due to the spray paint, sometimes fading or dripping. The massive white lenses that emphasize Miles' youth, with the light reflection of New York being cast upon them. Not only is this suit great, but it's also built off the back of one of the greatest Spidey classic designs that have ever been made, which already gives it a great framework to work within. It's also what this suit means on a greater level. This suit is about Miles Morales literally taking the Spider-Man costume and making it his own thing by using his art to make it into something of his own, which in itself is a metaphor for what Miles must do as a character. He must take Spider-Man and do it in his own way to succeed. And this costume does succeed more than any other suit below it on the tier list. Argue with me in the comments, threaten to blow my house up, this video is 9,393 words long, fuck you! Oh man, oh man, this video, I really hope this video is like, oh this man, I can't even hope that it's not going to be a pain in the ass to make, because I know it's going to be a pain in the ass to make. I have over an hour of recorded dialogue for this video and man that's just gonna be a bitch to edit but i want to know what you guys thought of my rankings i want to know if you guys think i'm a fraud i want to know if you guys think i'm a loser i want you guys i want you guys to tell me if you think i should up myself because of my because of my placements i'm losing my shit here this is the longest video i've I, I, i've ever made and man it's gonna be a bitch it's gonna be a bitch to make but i hope you guys liked it and if you at me on Twitter, on my Twitter at, which is on screen, you can show me your tier list ranking, which would be cool. But anyway, thank you to all my channel members. Thank you to all my subscribers. I'm, I'm clocking out on this video. I've recorded it all. I'm good. I'm good. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll probably be making a non-Spider-Man 2 video next time just to get some variety going. But don't worry, the Spider-Man 2 gravy train still coming, chat. I'll see you guys next time. Love y'all.